there, Red Devils. I'm Dakota. And I'm Josh, and these are your announcements for today. Whimsical is the word of the day. It means playfully quaint in an appealing and amusing way. Shrek is a whimsical musical about a smelly ogre that goes along with his friend Donkey to rescue the beautiful princess. Don't forget our very own Encore Productions is producing this musical on April 22nd through the 24th. We're getting ready to register for the next year, and we're really hoping you consider RDTV. The more people we have, the better. Mrs. Dempsey will hold auditions after school on Wednesday and Friday of next week. It is very informal. All you have to do is come in, read from the prompter, and talk about your ideas for RDTV next year. Hey guys, we're having a music appreciation program, April 15th. All you have to do is pay $2 per ticket. It's going to be seven period. And there's all sorts of music for many people. If you like rock, you listen to rock. If you like pop, you listen to pop. If you like rap, you listen to rap. If you even like country, we got country for you. So please come. Lights please, lights please. Turn off the lights. Tonight everything just seems so right. How you make the darkness seem so bright? Feeling like things gonna be alright. Lights please, lights please. Turn off the lights. Tonight everything just seems so right. How you make the darkness seem so bright? Feeling like things gonna be. Had this little bad thing, something like them tens. Gave a person mad brain, something like the whiz. But you see the sad thing, talking to it is. It's a girl ain't even have brains. Crazy like a. So I try to show about the world and about just who we really are. Where we come from, where we still have to go. Really. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be dishonest. Still not understanding this logic. Hey, I'm back in better. I want you better as ever. Don't let me just let up. I wanna give you better. Baby, it's whatever. Somebody gotta step up, tell them that. Somebody saw them next up. Be if I let them catch up. It's easy to see that you're fed up. I'm on a whole nother level. Girl, he only messed it over cause you let him. Bump it, girl, I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show any effort. Do all I can just to show you you're special. Hi, I'm Garrett Norris, your chief meteorologist and special interest reporter. I realize sometimes it gets a little dull and boring just having me talking. That's why I took the liberty of hiring some new correspondents. And the first one you will see today doing a live investigation from a crime scene is Miss Fran Tick. Hi, my name is Miss Fran Tick, your field reporter for all things crime related. This hallway seems calm now. But earlier, you could say things were getting a little frantic themselves, registered trademark. Juan Pablo Jenkins was brutally stabbed in his pancreas. Now, while Jenkins is in pain, he is still surviving. Things are looking in his favor, but let's just go into the hospital room to find out what really happened. Turns out Juan Pablo Jenkins was actually a, a criminal himself, and he ran out of the hospital, so we couldn't find him. But we're going to go around asking people, what were their opinions on Juan Pablo? Ma'am, what was your opinion on Juan Pablo Jenkins? I don't even know who that is. You don't know who that is. Quit playing dumb with me. I know you're one of his little allies. Now, who was Juan Pablo? Who was he? I don't know who that is. Get out of here. Get out of my sight. Go on. What you knew of Juan Pablo Jenkins? Oh, let's see. I think he graduated 2012, 2011, 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. Um, he was a shy kid, sweet, never caused any problems. He was from like a small island nation um, off Guatemala, I think. Yes, absolutely right. Finally, someone who knows what they're talking about. Um, you know, friendly, worked well with other kids. Now, who do you think was the culprit who stabbed Juan Pablo? Oh, I don't know. Um, where was Brandon Pradell when all this happened? Um, let's see, who else might have been? I think we already have a lead. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Brandon, where are you? You can't hide from Fran forever. 
justice always finds a way, except when it doesn't. This just in. Turns out Brandon Perdell was not responsible for Juan Pablo Jenkins. But instead, it was your own chief meteorologist and special interest reporter, Garrett Norris. Garrett, you get out of that studio. Because you can't hide forever. I'll find you. It's me, Fran. We used to date in high school. You want to get, get back? I mean, not, we're not, not rushing into things, but like, we can go to Olive Garden. Or whatever you want craved Italian, Italian yesterday. So just let me know. But yeah, you're not, you're going, you're going down. You're going down. These have been your Red Devil TV announcements. Have, have a great Red, Red Devil, Devil Day. Day.